All right, Mark, take away. All right. Well, um, we can all agree that music has evolved, it's changed, and whether it's for the better or worse, it kind of depends on the person. Um, some people may even argue that it unnecessarily glorifies violence and criminal lifestyle, but you know what hasn't changed is that music is an art, and art is protected under your First Amendment right of the, of the Constitution. Um, author Charles Pickney said that we have no guidelines to what violence is, because Webster's Dictionary depicts violence as an unjust or unwarranted act of force against someone's right or someone's, um, or the law. So, if there's no, if there's no guideline, how are we going to ban that? I mean, the author of a book called Parental Advisory even states that the difference is because there are cultural and subcultural and social economic differences where one person may view something as being a violent or hostile action where someone else who grew up in that same environment decides it's not, it's everyday it's everyday life. Um, throughout history, uh, music has actually been uh, associated with unfavorable acts through war cries, through the Bible, uh, times of slavery, and even currently. Um, Marilyn Manson was actually single-handedly blamed for the Columbine attack in 1999. Um, according to the Rolling Stones article, Marilyn Manson had dark music um, a dark background to his music, and what happened was the two murderers, Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, uh, were automatically associated with Marilyn Manson, uh, and what happened was afterwards, after they, viewed, they interviewed the two, they realized that the two actually didn't even listen to Marilyn Manson, they even hated him. Um, the book a book called Media Violence and Children says that music actually parallels television. And so the same cultural phenomenon between, uh, between music and say soap operas or Broadway or even you know big screen TV, um, it's the same. So if you're saying we should ban music, you're essentially saying that we should ban every form of free speech. Author Jeff Chang of Hip Hop Can't Stop, Won't Stop says that we need to categorize it. That's going to be the best thing we can do to, to, to deter violent music from getting in the hands of our youths. Um, stricter labeling, uh, such as those used in the film industry, isn't used for music. So if we, if we enact those, uh, the, child, the child protection laws, which don't allow underage children to view, you know, R or X-rated movies will actually be imposed on music, but that's going to be one of the first steps we'll have to take. We can't outright just ban music that's violent or music that you know, may, may insinuate something. Um, but in the end, proper parenting and proper parenting is going to be what's going to save our children. There's no compensation. We don't need the government to tell us, you know, what to do, how to do, when to do something. We don't need this nanny state. And all that will lead to is totalitarianism, and that's, we can all agree that that's not good for us. Um, what parents can do is, you know, just Google the words uh, meaning, and then the artist, and the song title. And with that, you can find out exactly what the song's supposed to mean. Um, whether it has any any sexual innuendos or anything, um, and you know what? Honestly, we just need to fight this, but we need to take a different approach because, as uh, the great philosopher uh, George Stan Stanian said, um, those who cannot remember history are condemned to repeat it. So, realistically, if we go on and we decide to ban this music, it's just going to hurt us. Thank you. Alright. Alright, so my opponent had a lot of valid good points. Um, uh, he talked about freedom of speech, and that's a great segue into my next article that I found from the University of Nevada, where they had um, 50 Cent come and perform, um, long when he was actually popular. And he, he brought a cop car as a prop, and he had bullet holes just slashed against the 
I mean, displayed against the side of the car. And it brought a crowd of not reputable human beings to the college, and it started riots and fights. And so the college had to beef up their, their security. And basically what I'm saying is, do you really want to pay for extra security to be at one event? Is that what you want your tuition to be paid for? Just so you can have it, just so you can say that you have freedom of speech. Thank you. Yes, go ahead. Um, what my opponent is trying to say is uh, there's um, she doesn't realize that music is a social realism, and she'd rather pretend that it didn't even exist, and we don't need that. What <laughs> 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 uh, music just reflects life, and the young children within you know who experience that, and to say that we need to ban it is just it's stupid. Just don't do it. <laughs>